Well, hello, 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 everyone. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Woman is God. What's up, y'all? Peace to y'all out there. Welcome to my channel. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all for joining me for Celebrity Story. All right. This is where I break down the names of the celebrities and we get the story behind their name, you know. Um, the powers that be just don't allow these celebrities to have these particular names. They have these names for a reason. That's because it represents a brand, okay? So these uh, the, the character of these um, celebrities is the representation of their brand, you know? So when you break down their names, you can see what they actually represent, okay? That's why you want to be careful what you name your children. Your children should be named something sacred, something that you will want them to represent. Okay? All right? Um, the, the English language is very cryptic and it's very occultic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's the language of the fallen angels. So it shows up as one thing and means another. That's why one word has about 15 definitions because it's a manipulative language. Okay? But we are very gifted, divine feminine. We're very magical. And we can tap into a frequency where we're able to decode anything that's hidden right in front of our face. Okay? That's why I like to do a lot of word magic on this particular channel because I'm trying to enhance the third eye of the divine feminine. That is a gift that we, that we um, have that we need to use. Okay? And we need to exercise it just like any other muscle on the body. It needs exercise and a good, great diet in order to be, it to be up to its cap uh highest capability okay so you need to watch what you eat watch what you intake in your body get in uh, plenty of water you know um not the the faucet water because it has fluoride that will calcify your uh pineal gland so you don't want that you want to try to drink spring water um mostly you know what i'm saying and um well, period. <laughs> Please don't drink that tap water, okay? You want to drink spring water and just watch your diet, you know? And, of course, you need exercise, you know? So this is the exercise. It's up to you to change your diet, but I'm giving you guys the exercise, okay? And that's why I do decoding the spell. I do what's the word, and I do celebrity story. Those are exercises to enhance your third eye, okay? And I know since you've probably been looking at me that it has been working and you're looking at words differently now and you're getting ready to, to see you're not just understanding your inner standing and overstanding okay all right y'all so let's uh, do let's break down some words let's use some word magic and let's see the story behind the celebrity that we're breaking down today and the celebrity that we're breaking down today is my boy Tom Cruise just take those old records off the shelf. <laughs> I said I listen to them by myself. Y'all remember that freaky, uh, not for, for say freaky business, not risky business. Good old 80s movie, you know what I'm saying? My boy Tom Cruise. All right, let's break his name down. Let's break it down, Tom, okay? All right, um, plenty of definitions uh, for Tom. And... Um, I didn't do any word magic. I just got it for face value. Okay, you can break it down, substitute those vowels if you would like. But, um, you know, um, I just took it for face value here because his name is so small, you know. So we got Tom. And um, one of the meanings for Tom means prostitute. I did not know that. Did y'all know that? I did not know that. I thought Tom was somebody like a tattletale. But no, it's a prostitute. Tom also means cut. And, of course, you know, um, from the hood, you know, in the urban, you know what I'm saying, areas we call cut, having sex, getting it, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know how we have cutty buddies. Those are people that we have sex with. So cut means to have sex. Tom also means to have sex. So uh, Tom means prostitute. It means cut, and it means to have sex. Interesting, huh? Didn't know that. You know, did y'all? You know what I'm saying? Time means prostitute. What? And like I say, you don't have to take my word for these. You could do this, do this research yourself and break these words down. Do this word magic yourself. As a matter of fact, I hope that you do that. This is what I want you to do. Okay? Well, that's his first name, Tom. Yeah. All right. Then his last name. 
cruise. Cruise is a voyage, a trip. Cruise means just to drift. It means to drive slowly. It's a passage. You know, it's a, a passage. Okay, a cruise is a passage also. Okay? All right, so time name is not too hectic. Nothing, you know, that we have to break too much down. It's very small. That's why I didn't substitute out the vowels and everything. But you can do that, guys. You know, but I just chose not to do this here. So his typical, his name, let's break it down. My boy Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise means to have sex with a prostitute, to go on a voyage or trip or drift or drive slowly with a prostitute. This is your passage, okay? Now, Tom Cruise definitely fits his brand, which is his name. His first movie was Risky Business. This was his passage into stardom, okay? And in the movie Risky Business, he had sex with a prostitute. And he had sex with the prostitute on, um, y'all may call it the L in Chicago. We call it the Metrolink here in my area. You know, they was on, they took a trip. They was drifting on the, on the train. You know, the train was driving slowly. They was on there by themselves. You know what I'm saying? And they was having sex on the train. She was a prostitute. Remember, she worked with, for him and she had other prostitutes that worked for him. You, she got other prostitutes to work for him. You know what I'm saying? And so this was his passageway to stardom was him being in this film, Risky Business, where he had sex with a prostitute in a train on a trip. They was driving slowly. They was voyaging. You know what I'm saying? Um, as a matter of fact, I want to look at Risky Business tonight. You know what I'm saying? And this was his passage to, um, this was his rite of passage into stardom. This is what kicked off his career. Tom Cruise. So he definitely fits his brand. Definitely fits his brand. Uh, you know, uh, is this his real name? You know what I'm saying? I mean, probably. You know what I'm saying? But it's just amazing, isn't it? How these people definitely fit their brand, their name. So you definitely got the, the story behind this celebrity. Well, this is Tom Cruise. He has sex with a prostitute on a train where they took a trip trip where he was uh, voyaging, uh, they was drifting, the train was driving slowly, they was on there by themselves, and this was his rite of passage to start him. Yeah, Tom Cruise. Fits it, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, this is what I have for this celebrity story, guys. If you feel anyone could benefit from this, please share the consciousness, share the awareness, guys, because we're, we're strengthening third eyes here. We're trying to get you to see with your third eye to see into your spirituality so you can see what's right in front of your face. Okay. All right. I love y'all. And I will see y'all on the next celebrity story. Y'all be easy. Okay. Bye-bye.